in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. So Elon Musk plans to merge humans with AI, basically cyborgs. Just imagine having the ability to regain your eyesight, restore memory, speech and even movement if you are a paralyzed person and control devices with your own mind. These are some things that Neuralink will be able to do, but I'm sure you're either thinking that this is some kind of a sci-fi horror film intro or maybe the beginning of a new and better life. Having a bionic superbrain chip robotically implanted in your head is something that most of us would consider a once in a lifetime experience. But either way, it's something interesting that we will explore in this video and then you can make up your mind about it. Before we begin, I want to say that I'm not an expert in this topic and this video is made for entertainment purposes. If you want more analytical and scientific information about it, I will leave some links in the description for you to check out as well as the sources I used to make this video. Part 1 is about what Neuralink is. Neuralink is a company that, according to their website, is creating the future of brain interfaces building devices that will help people with paralysis and inventing new technologies that will expand our abilities, our community and our world. Now, the link is the first neural implant that will let you do a lot of interesting things that we will cover in a few minutes. So, with Neuralink, a chipset called N1 chipset will be installed in your skull. It is only 8mm in diameter and it has multiple wires on it. I know it sounds weird, but wait. These wires will be surgically placed inside your brain using a robot, of course. You can even place more than one device to target different sections of your brain. Musk said that the procedure is complex and beyond human capabilities. But don't worry, Neuralink will be using its robots, which are specifically developed to carry out that mission. It will be a quick and precise insertion of the device, and the installation could take up to two hours as Musk said. Of course, brain implants are not new. Their research and development have been going on, tested and used since the 1970s. But I know, of course, it sounds a bit scary and you have your doubts. Now let's dive to the more interesting stuff. What does it do? As Neuralink has mentioned, their goal is to help people with paralysis to regain independence through the control of computer and mobile devices. Basically, it is a computer inside people's brains. In an interview, Elon Musk said that the device will be also able to help regain someone's eyesight even if they have lost their optic nerve. He said that this technology will be able to fix anything wrong with the brain. It can also be used to restore memory, speech and movement of a paralyzed person as we previously mentioned. Neuralink could potentially use the device to create brain-connected artificial limbs for amputees. The prosthetic limb could be wirelessly connected to the link, sending signals into the brain and giving it a realistic feeling and the ability to move the limb. So it would be an artificial limb that the patient could control using their brain, and that would even restore their sense of touch. With a slightly deeper reach into the brain, the link could even potentially stimulate the primary gustatory cortex, the region that receives input related to taste. As the user eats broccoli or anything else, the link could stimulate sweetness neurons in their gustatory cortex, giving the impression that they were enjoying a delicious dessert. Musk also said that it will be able to help people interact with each other without the need to talk. Of course, most of this will happen in later stages, which hopefully we will be able to see and test it for ourselves. So even telepathy is not that far-fetched anymore. It will be something like sending messages from one link to another, like transferring files between two devices. And maybe we will be able to make telepathic phone calls. Probably it won't be able to make full sentences, but images or single words sound more possible. And of course, it will be improved over time. So the speed of communication will also be improved. Now there is a limit to how fast you can talk or how fast you can type. But mind's thoughts are instant. Maybe somewhere in the future we will be able to download skills or information into our brain, like in the Matrix. Neuralink's monkey can play Pong with its mind. Imagine what humans could do with the same technology. Of course, all that sound amazing, but there are some concerns. 
Neuralink may be the bridge that connects humans with the next level of artificial intelligence, providing a lot of possibilities for humans, of course. But not all people are willing to put a computer chipset inside their brains without any concerns or second thoughts. This technology has not been tested on humans yet, so of course there would be some concerns or doubts about how this works. According to Musk, initial human trials might start later this year, so we still don't know how it will react or work with the human brain. There are also concerns that if the device is connected to the internet, how will we be able to protect ourselves against hackers who might try to steal data directly from our brains? Hacking, software bugs and hardware defects could also be a threat to our daily life. So yeah, maybe this will be a start of a new and improved life. Or maybe it will be a huge tragedy. We won the war, but lost the planet. But we know that Neuralink is an innovative project and many of our questions will be answered as we get closer to the launch of this product. Until then, we should be excited that something like that is even real. Self-destruct sequence has initiated.